Look, at, at, at SICK, we're, uh, we're focused in four key areas of, of automation. It, it's a big, um, big word. It means a lot of different things, but for us, we talk specifically about flexible automation. We talk about quality, track and trace, and safety. Primarily, factory, uh, f flexible automation is, um, is really driven by the size of our marketplace in Australia. What it means is, is the fact that our customers have to have the ability to be uh, flexible in their line. So one line needs to be able to package, bottle, fill, label, all different shapes and sizes of product. Which from an automation perspective, is mean it, what it means into the future is that we're able to deliver a, um, a, a dynamic, flexible solution for them. So that they've, um, they've actually saved themselves, instead of manual adjustments to sensors, they can dynamically adjust the sensor by changing a, a program in a PLC to say they're going from a 600 mil to a, a, a 400 mil or 300 mil bottle very, very easily and very quickly. So increases the uptime of their machine and de decreases the downtime and therefore increases their productivity. So. Primarily we're focused on three, what we call three pillars of industry. We talk about factory automation, which is primarily what we see here at the OSPAC show, um, which is a core business of food and beverage, packaging, print, labelling, etc. Um, we also have and, and uh, are represented in the process automation side, which for us is industries like oil and gas, like um, uh, mining and um, uh, process automation in general. The other, the other area which is probably the fastest growing at the moment is logistics automation, and, and that is everything from the RFID kiosks that check you in at, at uh, Qantas, um, to things like the, um, the increase in our internet purchases as consumers is driving the huge growth in logistics, and we provide the, the code and traceability solutions for that industry. So. Primarily we think the, the, the limitations are really only driven by the, the imagination and sometimes the resources of our, our customers. Um, really the, the limitations again are pretty much driven by the fact that our, our customers have a, a driving need to increase efficiencies, um, to, to work on smart uh, manufacturing strategies and, and to continue to grow. So for us it's a yeah, continuing challenge. I don't believe so, no. What, they, what, what a lot of manufacturers are doing is actually investing in their people. They believe that their greatest resource is in fact their people. What they're doing is by introducing automation is they're upskilling their people and getting them involved in it. What it's created is opportunities for employers to continue to grow the education, the knowledge and, and competencies and capabilities of their own people. Probably the, the biggest thing would be the fact that um, in Australia we, we have and we're blessed with some very inju ingenuitive engineers who take on technology at, uh, at an ever rapidly, rapidly growing pace. We're fighting in a global marketplace, we have, to, we have to increase our efficiencies and it's primarily done through smart manufacturing solutions.